Okay, I'm going to do this, just a quick video on how to change or add font on a design that you've purchased or downloaded somewhere and you want to get rid of the font that's on it and add your own font. I've had this question come up several times here recently, so I figured I'd do a quick video on it. Okay, I've got my path here and it's already got font in it, as you can see. It's all one path, so the easiest way with a design like this would be go to your node editor over here click on that and come down here in node editing mode and click and drag a box around all this font it'll highlight all those nodes and then you can just hit backspace or delete on your keyboard and that will delete all those nodes all those paths and now you have a blank canvas here to add your font to that's one way of doing it the other way of doing it i'm gonna hit Control z to go back and this this is another way to do it it's probably not the preferred way but on some designs it might take a little longer you maybe you got a little artwork cutting in here between the letters and you don't want to go through all the trouble of dragging a box around each node and trying to avoid the artwork so another way of doing that is select the path and you can go to path break apart or shift control K on your keyboard then what I do is that's broken that path apart I'll select the outside contour by clicking over on the edge somewhere change the color to like a red and page down on your keyboard and just keep hitting page down until everything shows up okay now everything's there now I could go through and just click the letters and delete them or drag a box around the ones you can get delete those the only problem with that that did effectively did the same thing but now you have to combine this path back together so I would drag a box around select all these inside contours and go path union or shift control plus and then you can hold shift select your back piece and hit path difference or shift control minus and now we're back to basically where I was by deleting the node so there's two ways of doing it I prefer the node deleting by you know selecting your node editor on a design like this but there are times when breaking the path apart is easier than working your way between the artwork okay so we've removed the font now we just need to add a name back in there so I'm just gonna go with bad dog and I'll change the color I always change the color when I'm doing something like this that way I can drag it in place and I can see what's going on and I'll just select a, a basic font like Arial for this example and that did not change Hmm. Well, it's being stubborn. I'll go over here to my text and font and select I'll scroll down here to Arial. And I will go with bold and apply. So there's two ways of doing that. Normally you can just go to your drop down for some reason Inkscape's being difficult at the moment. So now I've picked my font. I've got that on there. I would, you know, if I'm adding font to a design like this, I will put the font here and hold shift, select this back piece, and then I will go to my align and distribute menu, align it vertical, and align it horizontal. That way I know my font is right in the middle. Now I need to convert this to a path, so I can go path, object to path, or shift control plus. Now that I've made that a path, it's actually a group of six objects, so I need to ungroup that. Shift Control G. Something else to keep in mind here too, I kind of, I didn't really skip a step because it's not necessary on this font, but you, you want to pay attention to your spacing between the letters. You obviously don't want those too close together or you'll get burned through, which in this case, I would, if I were uh, d doubting how thick I had there I would take my circle tool hold control and drag me a circle 
I normally make the circle an eighth of an inch. So one, two, five. Hit enter. And then I would take that circle around and make sure I have at least an eighth of an inch of material going to be left over between the letters, which in this case, it's fine. But if you were in doubt, some font will have certain letters crammed together. When you're in your font tool, you can come up here and adjust your spacing by adjusting this number here. I don't know what exactly what it calls it. It doesn't really pop down a menu to tell you what it is, but that's your spacing between letters. Okay, so anyway, I've converted that to a path and ungrouped them. So now, being that these are going to be cut out as negative letters, I need to bridge these. So with my snapping on, I'll select my rectangle tool and I'll click like that. I let it snap to this corner on the inside of the B. And same with my bridges. I normally make sure they're at least an eighth of an inch thick. But on letters like these, being that that's a little thicker, I will go with something like, you know, a quarter inch or just, you know, whatever works, whatever looks like it fits better there. This is a little less. But so I've set my rectangle there and I pull it up just a little bit. I let it snap here, but I normally either tab it up or arrow it up or drag it up just a little bit so it goes just past there. That way I know it'll cut all the way through. Then I'll hit Control Z. Oh, sorry. Shift Control Z. I'll go back. I'll hit Control D. Duplicate this rectangle and I'll take it over to my next letter. I'll use my align and distribute on an A to center it up. Now you notice this didn't quite center in the middle of that. So a little trick I do here with my snapping on is I'll take my stroke tool and I'll snap here and here. Now I've just added a stroke there that I'll delete in a second. I'm going to hit shift and change the stroke color so I can see it. Now I'll select this rectangle select that stroke and center it vertically it's kind of OCD but I like to make sure it's perfectly centered so now control D duplicate that again and I'll drag it over to this D let it snap here arrow it up a little and I won't worry about this D and I'm gonna control D I'll drag over here to this this O and I'll center it up here now I just difference them out. This is both of these are selected so I can go path difference. Let's cut that one. Now I can select both these path difference. You could do them all at the same time too if you if you unioned everything together, but I'll select these path uh, difference. I like to leave the letters separated until I'm done. That way I can center on the letter on letters like an A or an or no so here I'll path difference now I've cut all those now the reason I didn't bother with that D is anytime I have letters and this is another reason I leave them separate anytime I have duplicate letters I'll just come in now that I've bridged it I went into my note editing tool because you always have cleanup on font I'll select these backspace select these backspace smooth these out with the smoothing I will delete these and then highlight these and snap those make that straight now I'll take this D control D and I'll usually change the color drag it over here let it snap and then I'll click here in between it to select the red one as you can see here backspace and now I have both those D's bridged and cleaned up that just saves you from having to clean every letter if you have duplicates so here I will select these backspace select these backspace these oh I got one too many there backspace backspace select these backspace and I will snap those straight then you go back on any of these and smooth them it just gives you a nice clean cut come over to this zero or O 
delete those, delete those, delete those, delete those, smooth those, and finally this G, give it a little cleaning. Okay, now smooth these. Okay, my font is bridged and ready. So now only thing left to do is I'll select it all. Shift Control Plus, which is Path Union. Then select the back plate and Path Difference or Shift Control Minus. So now that's added in there. And then the only thing I know I went through and cleaned that, but you always want to double check over your font and your design after you union to it or difference from it because sometimes like this if you zoom in on this node you'll see Inkscape decided to add there's a double node there that's why it looks small and grayed out if I select it well, actually it shows four nodes in that spot so if I drag my I'm in node editing still drag a box over that hover over it until it turns red hit shift J and that will join those four into one node. Now you just have one node. You don't have a broken path there. So you just go over it and make sure you don't have any anomalies like that when you're done. And that's it. You've added, you have removed the font that was there and added new font. It's pretty simple. I mean, that you can go a little quicker than what I did there, but I'm trying to make that as simple and step by step as I can. Hopefully that helps some people out. Thanks for watching.